Got one. It's jumping like crazy. Well, we got a long drive this morning. Headed across the state to uh, a little Lake Michigan coho fishing, hopefully. I've uh, been watching the wind for the last uh, two weeks or so. And watching it, it was like, originally I, I planned to go these days because it said like, oh, wind's light variable, which I knew better, you know, two weeks out, I knew better. Um, and it was slowly it picked up to five to 10. Now today it says 10 to 15, but it's looking like I got a window before like noon where it should be okay, but it's Lake Michigan, so anything goes. Well, I don't know. There's definitely waves. But this is a popular beach surf spot. Crazy. Yep, unfortunately, I think that at least the lake portion of this trip is going to be just a recon run. It's cool to know, though. I didn't know that it was this close to Warren Dunes. I knew it was on the map. I just didn't realize it was, like, connected to this little city park I'm at. It sucks because the waves don't look like they're that bad out there. It's just getting past these, like, little sandbars. I don't know. It would be the best idea in my little boat, so. Oh, well. Well, I can't launch in that. Man, what the hell y'all doing? This is not going to be a fun walk, but there's a little opening down there I can get out in. There's the pier. That awesome guy right there pulled my boat down for me. His name is Tom. Shout out to Tom. So, I moved to the river. Very popular spot that I've, I've always got a nice early spring fish here um, a lot of people for a Tuesday uh, I've never had a boat here which is pretty cool because I can just you know sit out here in the good section and plug this hole I always usually get one out of this hole like first first steelhead of the year usually if I don't get one in the winter on Akiak I'll get one here it's a, it's a good spot it's fun in the boat a lot nicer than Lake Michigan got one jumping like crazy there we go baby that's a nice fish oh yeah there's some neat houses along the river here water's pretty blown out here too but i managed to get one so that was pretty cool well that's a nice seam over there i should go hit that seam I love all these covered boats. It seems to be like a, like a regional, not regional, like a local, like a St. Joe River thing. I remember I noticed this, this here before. I've never seen as many set up like this in one spot. I remember I was fishing out here. The first time I ever saw one of these, I was fishing out here and I saw like, you know, this one of these guys um, running a guide up at the dam. And I was like, oh man, that boat's sweet. It's probably really cool inside there. A little place to keep warm and you know, get out of the elements. My boat's not quite big enough to build something like that, but one day I'd like to build something like that. 